Many of those governments in Turkey, in Iraq under Saddam Hussein, maybe even in Syria, always uh, saw the Kurds as a sort of a Trojan horse that could be used by their enemies for their own political gains. I wonder if you believe that Kurds are still being used as a bargaining chip in the larger Middle Eastern politics, that especially era is today. Over. That era is over. You know, Kurds have not been the uh, Trojan horse, as you mentioned, but Kurds they were the victims of the uh, totalitarian system that we had in those countries that we have been living in. As I said in my earlier speech, you know, the Kurdish issue is the issue of a nation that has its own language, culture, history, background, and that's it. But that, that has not been recognized by the respective countries. So in this geopolitical game, if they disagree on anything, they have agreed on limiting the Kurdish rights in their own countries. And that was the results of the Sykes Bicor agreements. But that era is over. Kurds are no longer be that weak point to be uh, played with by these countries and Kurds now an actor in the region that they have their own agenda. But I wonder if this active role that you just mentioned is a result of uh, very difficult political circumstances that those respective governments find themselves in. Because uh, Turkey has uh, a lot of uh, security issues, uh, Syria as well uh, has a lot of security issues. Mm -hmm. So there may be uh, an immediate political advantage to keeping the Kurds at bay or keeping them placated. Uh, Kurds, especially the Iraqi Kurdistan as an example, prove that they are part of enhancing democracy in the Middle East by having elections, by having pluralism, the rights of the women and the rights of voting for all the components of the society and by having the quota for all the other minorities that we have in the in, inside Kurdistan regions, by having the peaceful handover of the, uh, of the power and also by the free of the press. All of that help for having Kurdistan as a beacon of democracy in the Middle East. But the problem is, of course, that the uh, democratic prospects around the Middle East are not uh, when I say, sure, I when mean, I say, uh, in Syria, for example, in, even in Turkey, you don't know whether democracy will continue to flourish. That's there why some we say that Kurdistan region it. proved that if Kurds will be allowed to have that chance, they are part of the positive, they are part of the solution, they are not part of the problem.